It's time to check out the Big Apple in color. <laughs> Welcome to the channel, guys. My name is Jamin. Make sure you subscribe below so you don't miss any of my reactions. Today, I'm going to be checking out the Big Apple from the 1939 movie Keep Punching. Now, I've only seen this clip originally in black and white, but today this footage is gonna be like recolorized with an open source platform called Deoldify. Big shout out to Black Pepper Swing for providing this clip. Now, if you haven't learned the Big Apple, guys, it is a classic Lindy Hop routine that you have to know. Yeah, once you learn how to do like East Coast Swing, then you do the Swing Out, then you have to learn the, the Shim Sham, th then you go to the Big Apple. Now, if you haven't learned this classic routine, check out the link in the description so you can get free access to my breakdown of the Big Apple. Now, without further ado, let's get right into this. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight Baron Skinner has a little treat in store for you. The Big Apple Contest. <laughs> In. That's great. There he is. Pretty cool. There are so many little details that start to pop out of this footage that I normally would not have noticed. The one thing that this color version of the Big Apple did that the black and white footage failed to do is help me connect more with the dancers as individuals because I can now see their diverse skin colors. It's weird to say that the color version of this clip 
helps me see these dancers as individuals with unique attributes and not just, hey, look, the black dancers doing the Big Apple. It's amazing how adding something as little as color helped me become more curious about their individuality. One of my favorite parts is the clarinet player from Chick Webb's band standing up in the corner while playing his solo. He appears to be more contrasting than in the black and white version, and I think that has to do with the the overall color contrast between him and the dancer. Another thing that I can notice now because of the color is how some people in the audience appear to be really engaged and almost come across as if they've, they're have they seeing this live for the very first time. While others look like they've seen the Big Apple way too many times and just want the waiter to hurry up with their drink. Overall, I think I like this version more than the black and white version, which is a very rare thing for me to say. Usually I don't wanna get too close to the humanity of the people I admire in these black and white clips by seeing them in a more complex way. But in this case, I feel adding color was necessary. What did you all think about this clip? Let me know in the comments section below. Hey guys, don't forget to check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, you will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level, which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. Members of the Street Smart Swing community also receive personalized feedback on their social dancing. They will also receive 24 hour access to all classes posted each week. So check out the benefits in the description below. Now, if I don't see your comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my class online. Take care.